Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. There is a new Snickers bar on the market. It's called Snickers Crisper. It comes in this uh, blue, uh, blue packaging like this. It tastes really good. Instead of nougat and peanuts, it's um, Rice Krispies and peanuts, or like a crisp rice with peanuts. And still has caramel and chocolate. Um, I decided to do a copycat recipe of this. Turns out really similar and super tasty. Some of my friends actually like it better than the real thing. Um, without further ado, let's get started. For our tools and the ingredients, we have some kitchen spray. We have a four by eight bread pan, which I have covered with the aluminum foil. I have a cup and a half of milk chocolate light cocoa candy wafers. I have about 11 to 12 of these uh, caramels, which equals about three and a half ounces of caramel. I have one tablespoon of milk, two thirds cup of Rice Krispies or crisp rice, one tablespoon of butter, two thirds cup of unsalted peanuts, one and a quarter cup of marshmallows. I also have a cutting board and a sharp knife. Alternative method, instead of using marshmallows and butter with our crisp rice and our peanuts, you can use three tablespoons of corn syrup. It gives it a little bit different taste, but it still tastes really good. So you can do either or. And instead of using melted uh, chocolate wafers, you can use about seven ounces of chocolate, or uh, milk chocolate. So that equals to one big Hershey bar. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we want to melt our marshmallows with our butter. And I'm gonna do this in the microwave. You can certainly do it on the stove. If you wanna see that method, watch my Rice Krispies treat video and you can see how I do it on the stove. Alternatively, you can skip this step if you're gonna use the three tablespoons of corn syrup. So I'm gonna melt my butter. I'm gonna take my butter here. I'm gonna go ahead and melt this in the microwave on bursts of 30 seconds, stir, 30 seconds stir, until it's all nice and melted. Okay, so we want it, once it's melted, we wanna work fairly quickly. Um, we'll add our peanuts and our crisp rice. And we'll go ahead and just mix that all together. Again, like you're making Rice Krispie Treats. Let's go ahead and mix it all together. And then we'll take our aluminum foil covered uh, and we'll spray it. Spray the aluminum foil with your kitchen spray. And we're gonna just put our mixture right in there, try to get it all that you can. And we wanna spread it out a little bit best as you can. And then just take a piece of parchment paper and put it on top and push it down. And make, you can be pretty firm with this and just push it in there so it spreads it all out and it gets nice flat on top. So that is pretty good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this in the refrigerator and let it chill for about 20 minutes. Okay, now once you take it out of the fridge, we will go ahead and take off the top of our... Might stick a little bit, but that's okay. So now what we wanna do is we want to take our caramel and our milk. And we are gonna take our milk and add it to our caramel. And then we are going to melt our caramel in the microwave on bursts of 30 seconds. Stir 30 seconds until it's nice, completely melted and nice and creamy. And then what we'll do is we will pour it on top of here and spread it out nice and even. All right, our caramel is melted. And be careful, the bowl will probably be a little hot. And we're gonna go ahead and just pour it all in there. We wanna scrape all the sides as best as we can, okay? And we'll go ahead and spread this out nice and even. The reason why we use milk with the caramel is because once it sets up in the refrigerator, if you don't use milk or cream, the caramel gets really, really hard. And it uh, gets more crunchy instead of nice and soft. So this will make it nice and creamy, soft caramel, even after being in the refrigerator. Okay, and now we're gonna let this set in the refrigerator 
and we want it to set for about an hour. We need it to completely set up nice and firm for us. Okay, now we want to melt our chocolate. I'm going to melt it in the microwave on high with bursts of 30 seconds. So 30 seconds and then stir, 30 seconds and stir until it is completely melted. On to that step. Okay, our chocolate is melted. I took this out of the fridge and now what we want to do is cut it. So you can just lift it right out. Like that, comes out really easy. And then we'll just peel back our foil. And then we want to place it caramel side up. Otherwise the caramel will stick. And now we want to cut it. And what I like to do is I make, a, I just make this into eight pieces. And so I'll just cut in the middle here. Like that. And then what I'll do is I'll do down the middle. Like that. But you can make them whatever sizes you want. I also sprayed my knife with kitchen spray just to make it so it cuts through a little easier. The caramel can stick a little bit sometimes. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and dip these in the chocolate. I grab a fork um, just to help with the process. We have a spoon here as well. Um, so go ahead and you just take it and cover it with chocolate and go under it with your fork and just wiggle it a little bit and it'll drip off the excess and place it on parchment paper. Okay, once they are all dipped, let's go ahead and put them in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes so they can set completely. All right, our Snickers Crisper candy bars are done. They look amazing, super easy to make, easy ingredients. If I can make them, you can make them. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to share, like the video. Better yet, make some of these and give them to your friends and family. Sure to impress them. Time for me to dive into one of these.